welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So for today's video, I decided to follow a Kathleen Lights makeup tutorial. She's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. I love her so much. I actually did meet her uh, like three years ago in Generation Beauty and she was so, so sweet. And like I said, she's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. She's Her favorite show is Friends and it's like my favorite show and I love that she makes so many like Friends references. And she's so funny, so I decided to just recreate one of her looks. She has mentioned in a couple of her videos that she doesn't usually go for a colorful look. She goes more for the neutrals. And that's exactly me. Like, I usually tend to go for very neutral colors. And obviously, this makeup look, it's actually stepping out of my comfort zone. But I actually really, really like how this looks. Before we get started, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box, as well as all of my social media. And let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am not gonna, like, the palette that she uses is gonna be um, the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, the collaboration she did with Morphe. So I'm gonna be using that palette for today. Um, but for the rest of the face, I don't have exactly the products that she used. Uh, but you know, with tutorials, you only, I mean, you can use whatever you have. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm kind of nervous because it's a colorful look and I don't, I do very, like, neutral colors. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, <laughs> that hair flip. She's so pretty. Um, I did meet her, I want to say like three years ago during, um, Generation Beauty. And she's so tiny. She's like so cute. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna try to insert a picture here. After I took them off to contour my face. Sorry, they were supposed to be on in the intro. I apologize. <laughs> hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I am wearing right now. I am using the brand new Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I have gotten so many requests to film a tutorial with this palette ever since it came out. So I am so happy to do that for you today. A lot of you guys were asking me to do swatches and a review on this palette. I have seen this video a couple times, so I know that she does um, prime her eyelids with a concealer. So I'm just going to take my sharp, uh, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to start prepping my eyelids. So I'm gonna, she does go uh, fairly quickly through her tutorial, so I'm just gonna finish priming. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. I'm not used to doing my eyes first, so this is kind of like not like my routine that I usually follow. Um, but I'm trying to like actually like start doing that because I've noticed that I get a lot of follow up when I do um, like more brighter colors or more like darker colors so okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started um on the palette um on the web morphe website they actually have like the picture of the names so i printed that and i have it like um on the actual palette so i know the colors that um that the names of the colors for the eyeshadow so she i'm gonna go back a little because she keeps this really is the intro so. and i know you worked really really hard on it so yeah guys I'm so excited. Like probably reddish, kind of smoky eye, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to get through this voiceover because I feel like poop right now, but we're gonna do it. So I'm just priming my eyelids with some concealer as usual, and now I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna take this shade and on a fluffy crease brush, I am just gonna buff this. Okay, so she took the color M MFEO and in just in a fluffy brush. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a Morphe M535 and I'm just going to start working that on my crease. Okay. Into my crease. I'm really putting this color on my entire crease. 
grease. I'm not being precise with this or anything. I just want it all up in there. And then I'm going to take... Okay, I'm going to pause it because <laughs> she has one eye done already and I don't. <laughs> so This color right here. I know all of these... Okay, a little too fast, Jen. Tessie. <laughs> I'm okay. not putting this color on my entire crease. I'm not being precise with this or anything. I just want it all up in there. And then I'm going to take this color right here. I okay, so she took the color buns. And I'm guessing, okay, so she's. It's, it looks like it's a smaller brush than a fluffier brush. So more like, a, like this one right here. This is a Morphe M433. And she, I believe she... Yeah, so she put okay, that on her insert. crease. So I'm just going to point and dusty. So I am buffing this color in my crease as well, but I'm being a little bit more precise with this one and not blowing it out so much. And then I'm going to take this delicious blue color and I'm going to pack okay. this on my end. I'm going to pause it right there. So it doesn't look like she put a lot of this one. So I'm just... And she did say she didn't uh, take it up like higher than right here. And then higher lid. She took the color. Ooh, I need to go back. <laughs> this is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like I'm, I feel like she goes a little too fast, and I'm like trying to catch. Obviously, because you know, like I'm following the tutorial. Okay, so let's see. No idea where I put a little paper insert. So I'm just gonna. Oh, point I think it went a little the too dusty. back. So <laughs> in I'm the video. This color in my crease as well, but I'm being a little bit more precise with this one and not blowing it out so much. And then I'm going to take... Okay, so she took the color Twerk, which is the blue one. And I'm taking that on a Morphe M333. And she's packing this on her lid. This delicious blue color. And I'm going to pack a really this pretty on color. my entire lid. All right, so I really love... Okay, I'm going to pause it so I can finish this. I love that this color. Oh, my goodness. It's like a blue, but it kind of has a hint of, like, purple. It's so pretty. This is so out of my comfort zone. Like, I usually don't do these type of colors. love how this like reddish color looks against the blue so I am packing okay. this going back a little bit okay so she's taking the color one two three um hunts and it looks like she's using another fluffy brush so I'm gonna take a Sigma E25 all right so I really love how this like reddish color looks against the blue so I am packing this color into my crease. I'm actually putting a lot of this color down because I want to see the contrast of the blue and the red. So I'm applying a lot of it and then slowly diffusing it into my crease, kind of like dragging it up and making it a little bit more smoky and faded. Then I'm going to take this darker red darker red in the okay then she's going with the color Jax palette and I'm gonna use this kind of like the sandwich color in between the blue and the red just so that everything blends nicely and there are no harsh lines pause it <laughs> okay and I'm gonna take uh, another Morphe M433 does she take it okay she just take it all the way into back into the blue and into the body, of course, because when you apply a bunch of other eyeshadows on top, it will lose its intensity. Okay, I'm going to go back and blend a little bit on my crease, because I feel like there's a really harsh line there. So I'm going to go back with the first color, um, MFEO, and I'm just going to do a little bit of blending here. And 
packing a little bit more of that torque color. And intensifying it a little bit more. Okay, back into that crease color I used. I am just using this to diffuse any harsh lines right up in there. And then I decided to go with this color versus the black because this one was a little more purpley. Intensifying it a little bit more. Okay, back into that crease color. Okay, so what I did I just using... um, before that I actually went to the first color MFEO to just blend my edges. That's what she's doing now. To diffuse any harsh lines right up in there. And then I decided to go with this color versus the... I keep missing that shot of that color. I am just using this to diffuse any harsh lines right up. Okay, so now she's going in with the color Soda Pop. And I'm going to take this Luxie 231. And I'm going to apply it on my outer corner, I believe. In there. And then I decided to go with this color versus yeah. the black. Because this one was a little more purpley. So I'm using this to deepen out the outer corners and make it, you know, sultrier, deeper, smokier, sexier, you sexier. Know, all the years. So she's taking the color in light and applying that on her brow bone. Okay, so now she's going to start with her face, so I'm just going to take a wipe. And I'm gonna just wipe off all that fallout. Like I said, she does. I'm not gonna use the same um, like face products that she's using, um, just because you know when you, when you're following a tutorial, you only like use the stuff that you already have. Like you don't necessarily go and like purchase everything that they're using. So I'm just gonna moisturize my face a little bit before following the tutorial. And I'm using the First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Cream. And now, let's move on to the face. This is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. It's supposed to help with your pores, and I love it so much. And then I took the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick, and I'm mixing two shades because this one is a little bit too pale for me, but then this one is a little bit too dark for me, so I like mixing both of them. Okay, so she's using the Hourglass Foundation. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use my favorite, or my current favorite, the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High um, Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to blend that on my face. My Cosmetics Love is the foundation brush. And I love this foundation. It's like one of my favorites. I don't use it on camera that often, but it really is one of the best. And now for concealer, I'm just going to take my usual Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Neutral, and I'm just buffing that underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. And then to set that down, I took the new Kat Von D Blotting Powder in the shade Light. Okay, I'm just going to... And then she's using the um, Kat Von D... Light. Yeah, the Kat Von D like uh, powder, I'm and just gonna set, I'm just going to set. I'm just going to set with my RCMA um, no color, no color powder. I'm going to set my under eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and just set my whole entire face. I'm using the Morphe A34 brush. Okay, so she went in with the color in light, and she's going to be highlighting her inner corner with that one. And I'm just trying to find my brush. Okay, so I'm just going to take that in light color and pop it on my inner corner. See, I don't know how to do accents. I don't know why I try to do that right now. <laughs> Okay, and now for uh, to tight line, I'm gonna use the um, this is the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof in black, and she's putting it on her waterline on the tight line. Line as well, and then I 
took, I forgot to show you a little clip, but I took over the ABS crease, and I'm using this to apply to my lower lash line. Okay, so she took the color MFEO and apply it on the lower lash line. And I believe she says that she goes in with all the colors that she applied on the crease. taking buns so I took this shade again and on a different pencil brush I just smudged this on my lower lash line as well and I'm gonna be repeating this step with all the other shades so now she's going on hunts And then she's taking the color Soda Pop and just on the outer corner. Okay, so I'm going to go and apply my falsies and I'll be right back. So for lashes, I grabbed my Goddess by Coco Lashes. They're like one of my favorite uh, lashes ever. And I feel like they go perfect with this eye look. It's like so dramatic. I love it. Okay, so she's moving on to her face. And I believe she's going to use a NARS bronzer. So I'm just going to go in with my Hula bronzer. And for blush, she's using a very like peachy tone, like very neutral color. So I'm going to take my Becca uh, Wild Honey and I'm going to use that with a uh, Lexi uh, 516. Yes, I do have a highlight. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Just like she said, I haven't used this highlighter in so long. So, so long. This was actually my first, like, high-end um, highlight. Oh my god. I haven't used this in forever. So pretty. Okay, she's already moving on to her lip color. And then she's moving on already to her lips. And she, I couldn't hear what she was using, but she's using a very, like, neutral color. Um, I'm just going to use the uh, Fenty Beauty Glass or Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I have been loving this lip gloss. I used to not be a lip gloss girl. Um, I just don't like the stickiness. And I heard so many good things about that lip gloss that I was like, I have to try it. And I bought it and I tried it and I was like, favorite lip gloss ever. So I'm just going to apply that. Oh. I'm going to set my brows real quick with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of mascara and I'm going to blend my falsies with, can't find my mirror, mirror that, oh it's right here, <laughs> um, just going to blend my uh, lashes with the falsies. 
So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and it was so much fun following another YouTuber's uh, makeup tutorial. It's, it was kind of hard too because you know they're like editing and it's a little faster and I was like trying to catch up with the video but it was so much fun to film. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you didn't don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. As always all of the products that I use are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media and until then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!